have another player here representing. What's your name and what's the country? My name is Wael Abu Halaka. I'm from Syria, but I play president of uh, UAE Chalhoub Group. We, we, we like to enjoy this uh, game and uh, hopefully we can get the trophy. <laughs> now tell me, what's the company that you're representing today? Today my company is Chalhoub Group. Okay, we're presenting the UAE. So we are second team of UAE actually. So we hopefully we can get that. And tell me something, how do you feel to be here right now in Dubai representing your country? Actually it's amazing. We know the weather is very well. It's, it's that's positive things for us because we used to play here as, and this is like our home. So we can do, do something for the company and the UAE. Thank you so Thank much you and so good much. luck. Thank you. going to be played here at uh, the La Liga Academy in Dubai. So as the whistle blows, the timer has started. The first touch is underway and uh, this time they look good. The two teams that are playing today is UAE Shalhoub versus Bando Bangla who have uh, had a good game just a little while back. They were one down, 1-0 one Bando Bangla, Bangladesh and now in that game they came back strongly. 4-1 was the final score. It's uh, the UAE versus Bando Bangla, Shalhoub and UAE Bando Bangla, Desh. As the match has begun, there is a foul that we can see a uh, different looking jersey this time from Bando Bangla. An orange color jersey while they will be facing UAE and they've got their first free kick with the Bando Bangladeshis. Here we go, starts off with a pass and that's been hit hard. Kicked really well but there was good defense coming in. Bando Bangladesh, number 7, passes to 11. 11 going in to the Towards the keeper's end, a wild kick coming in from the left leg of uh, the number seven of uh, Bando Bangla. And that means that it will be a goal kick as UAE Shalhoub have now possession about off the ball. They start off from the left flank. This one passed to number six. Number six taking the ball in as we see number nine from Bangla trying to defend the ball. Good interception there from the Bandu Bangladesh field player. This one cross and the ball going out of play. Out of play that was and that's a goal. That's a goal. That's a goal. That's the first one coming in from Bandu Bangladesh. They strike in the third minute of the game and they are off to a flyer. Bandu Bangladesh score the first goal against UAE Shalhoub and nothing can get better then scoring a full goal right into the first few minutes of the game. The 
UAE Shaloub now starting the proceedings with number five trying to go in deep onto the opposition's end. This time Bandu Bangladesh 11 passes it on to nine across the field as another pass comes in through Pras beautifully done nicely intercepted by number 11 from UAE Shaloub gives a pass back to number five moving in towards the D coming in a good save very good save from the keeper of Bando Bangladesh. This one uh, passed in uh, deep from, uh, oh, that's another kick. Good kick coming in from Bando Bangladesh. Number 11. And a good save from UAE Shalhoub. As they start again, number five takes the ball deep onto the right wing. A dribble. And nicely done, still in control of the ball. A good pass across and a kick coming in, but not hitting the target, UAE Shaloup. That was a chance. Nicely done by the goalkeeper. And uh, the ball will come into play again. 1-0. Ban to Bangladesh, 1. UAE Shaloup, 0. As the ball again goes out of play. With the possession still being with UAE Shaloub. Number six passes it in to number seven. Taking the ball across the field. Passes to number five. Number five trying to go deep. Passes it. Taking it in himself. Kick coming in. Chance again for UAE Shaloub. But the leg misses the ball. Just a touch would have been enough on that occasion for the ball to net but uh, not to be so Bangladesh still in the lead Bandu Bangladesh 1 UAE Shaloub 0 as they start the proceedings again an underarm throw this time lobbed over into the vacant area UAE Shaloub goalkeeper will stop that passes it on to the left winger And the ball going out of play again. This time, it has been played towards the right wing. And a tackle being done there. Number five passes it back to number seven. And a free kick. And a free kick to UAE Shaloub. Who will pass that ball on looking to looking for an opening here UA Shaloub plays it back going for a shot here up and over and uh, that one just going above the Bangladeshi goalkeeper as there is a br drinks break that has been taken in fact they start the proceedings immediately this one played behind good interception again from number seven he's been good uh, in the defense losing possession number seven draw from Bandu Bangladesh going in passes it nicely another good interception from uh, the number seven for UA Shaloub passes it on to number five a good first touch going in. Chance for a goal here. Hitting the post. Oh, that was very close. Very, very close. Hitting the goal post on that occasion. That would have been a goal for UA Shaloub, but not to be. As the ball has been played back. Number six passing it to number seven. Number seven passing it back to number six. Now the lob going into the vacant area. Number five plays it in to the D. A trying effort, a diving effort. <laughs> As you can see, lucky escape for Bangladesh, Bandu Bangladesh. As here comes another low pass played well by number 11. Intercepting it with a header. Number 7 now. Passing it to number six push that is a push that will be a foul
Well, uh, now we have uh, in the com box here a very, very happy person, a very, very satisfied person because he was absolutely on the mark in the game uh, where Bandu Bangladesh pulled off a victory from the jaws of defeat. It is none other than uh, Fezan. Fezan, welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah, Bangla Bandu actually put in a lot of uh, energy inside me once again, and I'm really excited for this particular game as well. And they're already leading in this game against uh, UAE Shalub. So the way they have started, the coordination that was seen among the players, especially the attackers, was absolutely brilliant. Their passing was spot on. It was to the T. Everything perfect about that game against um, their last opposition for Bangla Bandu. And look at that, look at that, look at the energy coming in from Bagla Bandhu. Yes, that's right, but UAE Shalub are also looking at a dangerous side. They have a, a lot of uh, great players in the middle. They did uh, quite a few interceptions in this game already. Number seven was absolutely brilliant. He has already intercepted quite a few passes. He's looking good, the number seven for UAE Shalub. As we see the game being brought into the play again, that's a good save from the goalkeeper, number one for Bandu Bangladesh. Well, yeah, that's right. Uh, different jerseys in this game for both teams, actually. UAE was more of red and less of white in the previous game. And Bangla Bando in completely different colours, yeah. The yellow, the gold colour is showing a lot uh, for Bangla Bando here. And it's because of the heat, those jerseys could not survive after just one game. Yes, it is uh, indeed very hot out there and uh, jerseys are completely wet by the time they finish the game. So there's no chance of using them in the second or the third game. And that is exactly why you see a change in the jerseys. Meanwhile, it's number seven again for UA Shalup. Loses the ball on that occasion. Bando now in possession of the ball, passing it nicely. But this one was a poor pass coming in from Bando Bangladesh. The ball out of play. Well, uh, platform streaming partner for FIFCO is Kura, so you can watch us live on Kura and uh, you get to absorb the warmth that the game has to offer. The warmth of football and the warmth of this heat here as well at the La Liga Academy. It's pretty hot out there. Very hot inside as well. Yes, it is indeed a very, very hot outside and inside. I think it's time for me to get to, in, get to a break and get a good sip. <laughs> Bandu Bangladesh, one goal, leading by a goal against UAE Shalub. Bangladesh once again onto the attack, looking for that goal all the time. They came back really strongly in the last game, as we have mentioned. If you have missed out on that game, the highlights are up on SportsEye on YouTube. Go watch it and you'd be mesmerized by the Bangla performance as there's another attacking performance and that's it! Brilliant work coming in from jersey number 17 for Bangladesh. Individual goal and that is awesomely done. That is what we call a goal! In the game right now, Bandu Bangladesh is uh, putting a putting out a statement here. The first game coming back strongly, and now in this game leading from the front, 2-0 is the score right now against UAE Shalub. Meanwhile, number four passes a ball, and that is another miss from number five. The ball going out of play. Fifco World Corporate Champions Cup Live 360. Follow us on at SF360 Digital. Well, what a game Bangladesh is having right now. 2-0 up already coming back from behind that has given them the confidence actually to go for the kill yeah and they're very very quick in the field what a great move by jersey number 17 an individual goal he didn't need anyone to pass to and bangladesh oh back he'll pass brilliantly done brilliantly done and 17 once again with the ball running away and a pass coming in brilliant pass a shot at the goal missing this time ah oh, what a brilliant move once again from bangladesh exciting is the word that was great skills on display from the Bandu Bangladeshis. UAE Shalub had no answers to that. They were completely outplayed on that occasion by number 17 of Bandu Bangladesh. He is looking really, really lethal and dangerous 
He knows how to dribble the ball and especially in a shorter format like this, that skill is something to really celebrate and cherish. The way he controlled the ball, the back, the back heel brought to perfection. What a back heel pass there and then the dribble and then the run towards the goal. Absolutely amazing to watch. Bangladesh on the defence now. UAE lets the ball go to the sideline, slowing down the game just a little bit here. UAE so that they can get a grip on this game. They are two down already in this game and an attack coming up from UAE. Good defending once again from Bangladesh. So just like our, uh, our streaming partner, they have a 360 game here. Yes, absolutely. Yes, a 360. And this is a 360 degree performance from the Bando, Bando Bangladeshis. Meanwhile, leading from the front live 360. That's the streaming partner. Again, corner kick for UA Shalou. Played it to the, to the player outside. And the ball again dribbling across, trickling away out of action. Also a good uh, plug-in coming on uh, from our production team as well. So big shout out to them also as Bangladesh is all over UAE right now. Yes, 2-0 is Bandu Bangladesh. This one, another chance coming in very close to the goal. Left kick used. But uh, no danger then. Coming out of the danger. UAE now have a chance, have an opportunity. Number three passes to number nine outside on the left wing. As uh, he's looking for partners here, number nine. This one played across the field and going out. This is poor, poor execution from uh, Shalhoub UAE. That chemistry that Bangladesh has shown in the last two games, including this, that is missing from all the other teams, especially in this game for UAE. It is not to be seen. There's another team that I would want you to actually watch out for as we go into a break, is it? So back live, Bandu Bangladesh to uh, Shalub UAE 0 and uh, after the drinks, they definitely need to score some goals here. UAE Shalhoub into the game against Pantu Bangladesh, who are looking really, really dangerous in this tournament. I think this is the team to look out for. Absolutely. Uh, Bando Bangladesh has been doing really good uh, in the last two games, including this one. Unfortunately, they lost their first game just at the last moment. They yesterday were... Um, one goal down just at the ending moments of the game unfortunately lost that game but they have come back really really strongly and one of the teams to reckon with in this tournament in this championship the other team that i would suggest you watch a game is england and watch for one mr abudi that plays in the midfield jersey number 19. i have nicknamed him kareem benzema of this tournament because he's a game maker He's a goal scorer, he's a defender, he's a midfielder, he's a right winger, he's a left winger and he's everything in the field. Well, that's something special and uh, definitely I would uh, love to see him play as soon as I get the opportunity. Meanwhile, it is uh, number five from UAE Shalhoub and this one is a tackle coming in from uh, the number 14 for Bandu Bangladesh. The player is down looking for a free kick. on the field they need a stretcher that is bad i hope everything is right with the uae player there jersey number five and uh, look at how the bangladeshis are reacting to it they are guilty that it's because of them that the player is injured which is exactly why this football championship is happening to promote that culture to promote teamwork to promote networking and to promote the love for the beautiful game called football. Yes, very well said. That is exactly the motto of FIFCO in this tournament. They've been uh, absolutely wonderful in arranging this kind of a tournament. Uh, tournament. And this is not the first time. This is in fact the third year that this uh, tournament is taking place. The first one was held in uh, Canada. 
the second one in Morocco. Mexico won that game and that tournament and this is the third this is the third season in 2021. Absolutely spot on. Mexico were the first uh, champions. Then Iran are the reigning champions. And let's see who's going to topple them. Or is it going to be Iran again this year as well. So a free kick coming in. And that's it. That's the first goal for the UAE side. They were looking for it. They've got it now. And that is certainly going to cool down a lot of nerves that were happening in this UAE camp. <laughs> They passed it really nicely and shot it right in the net. But it would be unfair if we don't do this for the UAE side. So that was a fantastic goal! 2-1 is the score. Bando Bangladesh is 2 and Shaloub getting a goal here for themselves. They're still trailing by one goal. And this one has been played up and over. The goal post. There's a change in the keeper. And immediately as a, there was a change, the goal was conceded. So the new keeper will definitely be under some pressure. Absolutely. Bangla Bondo still in the lead right now. 2-1. Shalub UAE has come back now. They've posted their first goal here. They would want to post a lot more. They would want to win this game because it hasn't been a great tournament for them till now. There it is. The attacking move coming in from UAE. Good block coming in from the Bangla defenders, nicely done. The ball has gone out of play and uh, there's the kick-in coming in and good defensive work once again from Bangladesh. But I think that's going to be called a foul, foul here. On one foul, we have already had... We have already had and it's a, a free kick. Yeah, so this time around, it's going to be a penalty. This is not looking good for Bangladesh. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. This is a chance to equalize for UAE number six will take the kick and it is pressure pressure for the bando bangladeshi goalkeeper will he able to stop it will six strike a goal here let's see this one is the one for the taking he plays it in the goal that's another goal that's a big one that's a goal number two that is a goal, goal! absolutely amazing the way they have come back goal to the bottom corner of the goal post he has netted it perfectly and again another attacking move coming in from Bangladesh good defense work coming in from UAE just going over the goal post there game on Shoaib yes absolutely in just one minute they've scored two goals uh, Shaloub UAE and they are back in the game now the pressure is back on Bangladesh because they had a strong lead of two goals going into the first half but now Suddenly, they are looking in some kind of a trouble here. Meanwhile, a corner kick taken from the number 10 of Bandu Bangladesh. And that ball will trickle away out of play. UAE has got to have possession here. Last nine and a half minutes remaining in this game. And another attack coming in from UAE. And I think this is going to be a yellow card offense. Is it? Is it? It's a foul given already. But there was definitely a pull of some sort against the UAE number 5 by the Bando Bangladesh player. We'll have to see his jersey to tell you exactly which player was it. And yeah, I think, I think uh, he would be given a warning here. Hugging each other. And that is definitely a foul. That's a yellow card offence, frankly. Another one, another one shot at the goal. And this time good defending uh, from Bangladesh. So, the coin has flipped just like that with those two goals. Now, Bangladesh is under pressure. And they are doing anything and everything to actually stop the flow of goals for UAE. That's right, the pressure is definitely on Bandu Bangladesh. And Shalub UAE are looking like a different side altogether. As uh, number 10 passes the ball to number 11. This one has been played in, again, possession lost. Uh, tackle there, trying to get control of the ball. Number five for UAE Shalhoub. Finally, the ball is in the possession and that will be a free kick. Starts off number six with the ball in his uh, legs. 
This one has been played nicely. And to number five, another kick. Oh, that is a great save there. Number five, what a great shoot. And this one has uh, gone in uh, onto the face of the Bangladeshi player. This must have definitely hurt. So a lot of uh, injuries here. And that shows that there is a lot of aggression being played. is down number 17 is the player who scored that wonderful goal the goal of the match if you ask me it was brilliant all individual talent coming in from jersey number 17 here Bangladesh in pressure seven minutes remaining in this game they have to they have to do something about it because the last game they won they won it from behind and this time around they were forward and they are almost about to lose it a big shot coming in and just off the goal post to the left hand side of the UAE goal goalkeeper. Yes, it is a corner, so the goalkeeper definitely got a hand to it. And uh, they have been awarded with a corner kick played along the carpet. Another back heel, but this time there were defenders defending that area. So that will be another corner kick. Will want to use this opportunity, Bandu Bangladesh. To try and get another goal. Six minutes remaining in the game. Another pass. It's also a very, very competitive match, Shoaib. We can see tempers flaring in this game even now. So a very competitive game going on. UAE on the attack once again. And uh, the goalkeeper makes sure that there's not another chance to actually score a goal. And Shoaib, as Shoaib pointed out, since the time the goalkeeper has been changed to no fault of his, there have been two goals that have been scored against Bangladesh. Yes, there's another clash here between the two players. This is a very, very aggressive looking UAE Shaloub. A lot of people falling down on the ground. <laughs> Clashing against each other. Of the two players. Well, I, th I think that was a wrong um, tackle coming in from Bangladesh. So, to no fault of uh, the UAE player there, jersey number 7. And a free kick coming in for UAE. This one goes wide. So, there was another chance for UAE to make merry here. And it's gone down begging. Bando Bangladesh under a lot of pressure. Since the second half has started, things have been going only one way. The UAE way. Yes, it has indeed been going in, in the favour of UAE. They've come up with a, with a sting in the, their attitude. The UAE Shalou players, another push. And that is really number 17 this time pushing him. This is a, a game of pushes, this one. And they start off immediately and now he pushed the referee as well. So a lot of pushing around going on in the field right now. As I said, tempers flaring here. Well, I think all they need to push is push their limits themselves to actually score another goal, both teams, so that one can come out as the winner. Yes, indeed, they need to push uh, a little harder this uh, in the last four minutes. They need to make sure they get a goal in here, because otherwise the points will be shared. This time the ball played in the D. This is good coming, a good football coming in from uh, the Bangladeshis. Again, another push here. Again, another push. So a lot of rough work there from UAE Shalhoub in the last few minutes of the game. Well, I think after the break, UAE has come out with the idea of playing a little rough compared to what they were playing in the first half. Which might not be a bad ploy against this Bangladesh unit. Because even they are going very fast and uh, that's a very good save coming in from uh, the goalie for UAE. For a moment, it looked like as if this was going to go inside the net. What a good save coming in. That's right. Uh, they don't want to waste any time. Both teams want to win the game. So every minute, every second is important for both the teams. And as you rightly said, the UAE players need this win more than Bangladesh. This time, it's been played up in the end, far away. 
So immediately the game starts because they want to score a goal here, UAE. They feel they can do it. Three minutes left on the clock. And this one has been played on the right flank. Number nine, number five in fact. Passing it over the head. And a good header coming in. To actually see which matches have been great, which, which are not so much, but have been competitive. And again, another chance this time for UAE once again. Good blocking. And there's another shot coming at the goal, but missing it once again. Oh, that would, would have been close. That would have been curtains for Bangladesh had they got them. Oh, yes, absolutely. I think uh, this was a very close shave for the Bangladeshis. Another goal here will be the end of the game for the respective teams. Two all is the score right now. Number six passes it on. And uh, again, number six and number seven really doing well for UA Shaloop. One minute, 50 seconds left on the clock. They're still tied to all Bantu Bangladesh and Shaloop UAE. UAE needs to win this. And if they just could win it, this is one of those matches that is going to be remembered for a long, long time. And there's another shot at the goal. And this goes wide off the goalpost once again. I think they are talking about substitution here, the UAE side. Just one minute, one and a half minute almost to go in this game. Jersey number eight. This is where it all started for the UAE. That flare of temper changed things around for UAE in the second half of the game. On the attack, UAE once again, a good cross coming in. Jersey number 11 has the ball and jersey number 8 comes in and 5 is tackled pretty hard by the Bangla Bando players. Bangladesh doing everything in their might and power to actually stop that third goal from the UAE. UAE have been superlative in the second half. Yes, that's right. Uh, they have uh, kept the pressure on in the last 15 minutes on the Bangladesh players. Bandu Bangladesh are under pressure now. 2-2 two, two is the score. 30 seconds remaining on the clock. And uh, they're still tied. The score. What a great comeback by UAE though. Absolutely amazing. 2-0 behind. Coming from, from behind to equalize. And they've almost got the third goal as well. Twice at least. So 2-2. Two, two, that is the score uh, line right now. Six seconds remaining in the game. We'll have to see if the referee gives some extra time here or not. Jersey number three. This might just be the last move by UAE. Forward. They are moving forward. And good defense coming in from Bangladesh. The keeper does well there. Bangladesh has the possession of the ball. They're moving towards the UAE goalpost. Bangladesh. Can they get across? They do get across. Is there a goal? Oh my God. They just missed it somehow. Well, what a great skill of uh, football here. Almost still live, the ball is. This time, the UAE taking the counter-attack on to the Bangladeshis. Again, the ball losing possession there. UAE, and this time, it's uh, the Bandu Bangladeshis who's played a goal. But I think the whistle has been blown. So, 2-all is the score. Bandu Bangladesh, 2. UAE Shalhoub, 2. And the match is tied.